On the 14th of September 2015, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, succeeded for the first time to directly observe gravitational waves. These waves were predicted by Einstein 100 years ago, but until now they have escaped direct detection. This is a truly remarkable achievement, which crowns almost 50 years of experimental efforts by hundreds of scientists and engineers. And today the LIGO collaboration includes a thousand members from 90 institutions in five continents who have directly or indirectly contributed to this breakthrough. This year's Nobel laureates represent in an excellent way the diverse competencies needed for LIGO success. Rainer Weiss led the foundation for the detector design. He analyzed what performances had to be reached for the critical parts of the instrument and what sources of background noise had to be mastered. And Kip Thorne, also a co-founder of LIGO, made predictions about what signals were expected from different astrophysical events of critical importance for the design. Uh, Barry Barish is a scientific leader who scaled the project up in a stepwise fashion up to the advanced LIGO, thereby reaching the sensitivity which will in the end allow the successful detection. Without them, disco the discovery would not have happened. We now witness the dawn of a new field, gravitational wave astronomy. This will teach us about the most violent processes in the universe and it will lead to new insights into the nature of extreme gravity.